Hey guys, welcome to another episode of where I'll be talking about a game which is brand new, which is brand new for me at least, Pro Evolution Soccer 2013. I just bought this game for the PC and I'll be running it on the PC I guess, obviously. So I just wanted to talk about this game because there's a lot of speculation whether this game is better or even, you know, not as good maybe as uh, FIFA. But then I I have the soft corner in the bottom of my heart for this Pro Evolution Soccer because that is the first football or soccer game uh, that I played on the PC and it was fantastic. It was absolutely fantastic. Made by Konami, a company which is uh, really a great company, sometimes makes stupid mistakes but hey, it's a great company. So PES 2005 is the best soccer game ever that's a big statement i know that i may not be the most greatest person or the most expert person but that's my opinion 2005 pes is a great 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 soccer game and you need to check it out if you haven't seen it before you need to go and play that game that is a beautiful game and that is what i'm hoping 2013 will be the other games that have followed after 2005 had been a, a disappointment of some sort but uh, you know times can change and uh, so can games. So we'll be playing a quick exhibition match over here. I played it really quick. As you can see, I've given myself a great name called Daddy Off or whatever. Okay, so let's have a nice, a so uh, sorry, nice exhibition match where we will have uh, oh no, we'll have a national team play on a national team. So let's have England obviously take on. The Argentina. Where is the Argentina? Excellent. Let's go to general settings. We'll have a regular match. We'll keep it uh, okay. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. No, let's keep it five minutes. A really quick match. Let's just be random. Extra time beyond penalty. Kick beyond substitution. That would be good. Go with the game plan. Uh, let's choose manually. Okay, once that settings. Ashley Young, he needs to be with Welbeck, not away from him. We need to add somebody, Walcott. Let's Walcott start this match, not this. Milner, uh, a little bit forward, Gerard. I don't like this uh, setup at all. Let's take it this way, Parker, let him be left, spring him back. Chamberlain is good enough. And this, and Miller is good. So, yeah, that's my whole setup, I guess. I really like uh, the interface change that they have brought about. Wembley Stadium, absolutely brilliant. So the interface is like changed a bit, tweaked a bit to make it more, you know, a little more user friendly, a little more enjoyable, a little more smooth, and it's beautiful. I haven't played a lot of of, of this game. I have played like uh, let's say a few hours. I've played. Uh, it, I've started with the uh, the manager mode, obviously. So here's just a. Uh, what have I seen of it? It looks great. Actually, it looks great. And the dynamics is a little like going towards FIFA, but Pro Evolution holds its own when it comes to dynamics of the players and the game and gameplay itself. So let's uh, skip all this because this is just like showing off how great we have modeled the players. I will skip all this. That does not matter to me that much. What matters in the end is the gameplay. Let's have a look at the gameplay. So it starts. Uh, if you look at it, the the dynamic of the players, um, it really is different from FIFA, isn't it? It is not. Uh, it's not like FIFA at all. I mean, it is uh, more fluid for me. It's less uh, less uh, of a cartoonish feel that we have with FIFA. I'm sorry to say, but. After playing Pro Evolution Soccer so rigidly and so rigorously, I would say, I feel that FIFA lacks that you know, gameplay element that Pro Evolution really brings to the table. But the main thing that FIFA has it has going for itself is the is the licensing. I mean, it has all the licenses and it does pretty well in bringing those uh, teams with their names. Where we have North London, they have Arsenal. So obviously, that's a huge, huge thing. And uh, Pro Evolution Soccer has gotten away, you know, from this because 
people are like fan base is so big that they now know that North London is uh, Arsenal or Merseyside Red is Liverpool and all those things but they should really pick it up now and get back to you know uh, actually naming the teams what they are get up to the licensing I don't know what that issue is but they should sort it out quickly and it should not be a hindrance to the gameplay so talking about gameplay let's have a look at how it plays out I mean first of all it is a bit glitchy because I don't know if it's the crap because I haven't uh, noticed this uh, in the earlier uh, gameplay so it, maybe it is fraps which is uh, giving a bit of a glitch in between but that's okay the modeling of the players is excellent as I always have felt that Pro Evolution Soccer has always run that bet where they are modeled much much better than uh, FIFA and it, it has been like that for a long time now FIFA the modeling is a bit I would say plasticky cartoony was the word that I used earlier and that is what I believe in even though you may not that is what I believe in I think it's a goal though oh man that should have been a goal so don't give the ball to Messi man it's gonna score from the offline line I guess okay so I am a huge uh, fan of this game not of this game of the series rather and uh, I believe that oh come on that's just cheating okay so I believe that this game will has taken off quite like uh, people have liked it a lot they've been talking about it a lot but it has not been as big as FIFA 13 because FIFA has really has been huge absolutely huge I mean has captured the market like in two or three days it's gone absolute berserk but obviously with all the licensing and with the huge fan base uh, they are gonna do well but uh, Pro Evolution Soccer fans need not to uh, you know uh, say let's say reprise or anything because we are doing pretty well ourselves we have been uh, you know like not the top selling game but still it's pretty good it's been a better uh, release this year than uh, say before and it, it shows because the effort has gone into it they have made a good game and as i play uh, i'll be talking about it well no so we go into half time with absolutely no score so it's a five minute game it's a quick game so it's going to be really all out attack i guess there will be no defending as and such it's all going to be attack 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 all the time just like that i would say the one thing that I really like to mention over here is the sliding tackle. Uh, earlier you used to get away with the sliding tackle, you would always get the ball. But this time around, I feel they have changed the mechanics of it a little bit because you will, it is not necessary that you get the ball all the time. You have to be near, nearly perfect to get the ball with the sliding tackle. And that's a good thing, you know, because you don't want to make it easy, you don't want to make it difficult. You have to be perfect about your angles and your judgment when you're going for that sliding tackle because it's going to be um, a foul most of the time. And a few hours that I've played of this game, that has been mostly the case. So as you can see, it's not going absolutely as planned for me. I am doing my best to beat Argentina, which is like, uh, it's not like Barcelona. So let's see, if you see, as you see there. I was just talking about the sliding tackle being like a little, a little difficult this time around. Okay, so the ground, the animations, the players look uh, pretty good, absolutely uh, realistic. And you come to know when you play this game that uh, the dynamics of it is really more towards realistic because you have players who will clash into each other and there won't be any weird animations like in uh, like in FIFA I'm sorry I'm ranting about FIFA so much but that's the only kind of uh, you know comparison that we have right now and that was a funny face okay so uh, let's have a look as to what Argentina is planning to do over here no not that way it's not going to be that simple. 
So as you can see, it's a little, little more realistic, isn't it? And seriously, I love this game. I know I'm really being a fanboy, but I am what I am. I can't help it. Chamberlain is doing pretty well over here. I think I need to put in a cross. Here it is. No, Walcott has never been the person to take a great header. Oh, come on, that should have been a goal. Man. Okay, I'm going to concentrate on the match because it's the few last minutes left. I don't want to go to penalties because I suck at it. I want to score a goal and just win this goddamn game. Come on. England is going to beat Argentina. At least in a game it is. The game that I'm playing right now. Okay, come on, this is gonna be it. No. Oh man, that was a stupid pass. Seriously. So I'm just gonna concentrate on the game now. I wanna win this one. We're in the 81st minute now. Look at that clock run. It's running away. Oh yeah, that was a good block. A little risky. Went in really committed myself over there. But then I had to. Okay, so I think I'll be going with the cross now. Let's just keep it a little simple. Let's play with... It's his left foot. He's not gonna shoot. Come on, this is a go. Oh no, shit. Oh, come on. The possession percentage has been with me, but as you can see, we'll be going to extra time. This is not going to be fun. Sorry for the disturbance over there. Mike went a little crazy. Okay, so we're in overtime, extra time, whatever you want to call it. So I guess uh, the approach is going to be about more about passing. We're going to play the passing game like Argentina also is a very good uh, team when it comes to passing. They really have a very good possession based game they keep the passes to uh, absolutely short distances and good passes they're not a long you know aerial passes and all that in the world cup i remember they did try that but absolutely failed because germany destroyed them absolutely destroyed them and they did it with precision passing and i think argentina can do it uh that way oh that was close Joe Hart could not have stopped that one. The England, England team is looking really good. I mean, at least in the game it's looking good. I know Lionel Messi is great. Forget about him. Okay, let's go. This time we're going to try and penetrate the defense right uh, with good amount of passing and... Let's see if we can slide in a two ball. Great. That's a good. Oh, come on. That should have been a goal. Walcott and headers. They just don't mix, do they? Oh, shit. Look at that. He is a magician, isn't he? Even in the game, he is invincible, man. Okay, extra time is done. So this is going to be the second extra time. I really hope I score a goal because I don't want it to go to penalties, man. I really hate penalties. I want it to go to that. Oh, that could have been an excellent way to stop him, but I missed. No problems, we have got the ball again and we're gonna give it a full charge. Oh that could have been a great goal if we had you know beaten the keeper. Okay, that was good keeping. This is a goal. Yes! That's it, Steven Gerrard, the captain. That's right, that's how you become the captain of England, by scoring like that. Fantastic. In the second extra time, can you believe it? It was an exciting match, wasn't it? 
I guess I'm going to win this one. England is going to win, ladies and gentlemen. I'm proud to say that England is going to win. Because I was playing with them. Yeah, it's not that I love England or something. But uh, I like this team. They have a great team. And they should win all the time. So, once I have admired myself as to how great a goal that was, let's get back to the game. You have to defend now. Make sure that they don't, uh, you know, score a goal. The, it's the, it's it is a little difficult when you're defending. Oh come on, that was not a foul. Okay, England, you have to do this. Come on, in the game at least, beat Argentina, beat them. Oh, shit. They're taking their time to really build up uh, a play over here, but let's hope they don't. Oh shit! Oh, that was close. Joe Hart. I don't know what got into you. That was really close. The collision detection is awesome. Sometimes makes for really funny animations. Oh wow. Excellent, and that's it. I've won. For a change, England has beaten Argentina. Let's hope in 2014, if the occasion arises, England will beat Argentina again, and they win. So that was just those quick little gameplay of Pro Evolution Soccer 2013. And next time around, we'll be making more videos about it. Let's say about managers and uh, gameplay and all the other things. So thank you for watching if you have watched till this point and see you again next time.